Hello guys, this is Lilthos. Today I'm going to show you next generation polyether thread. This is bonded polyether thread. It's called Bini MBT. Uh, it's from Japan. Uh, it says this is color number 9 and size number 5. Uh, the length of the thread, the one it up here is uh, 1000 1, meter. So it's, uh, it's a lot of thread in one spool. Uh, before I talk about the details, uh, I'd like to show you where you can get this. Uh, I I made two shop tour videos from the um, Otoito uh, when I visited Japan. Uh, the address is here. I'll put the link in the down description box and also in the comment box. Uh, it's a, it's a Otoito. They sell mostly threads because it's a thread store, as the name implies. But they offer a lot of selection of tools and other kinds of supplies, uh, leather leather supplies. So it's definitely worth to check out. So they're building a new website, I think. I'm not sure, new Instagram or email address account. Uh, so I think if you know, I will edit it in the um, in the parts where you can uh, purchase from outside Japan. So normally this is for the um, Japanese market, so it's all written in Japanese. So if you click on that, uh, you will see these menus of um, uh, threads. And these are all Binium MBTs, and uh, it says Binium MBT 8, uh, that's a size. Uh, like I showed you here, this is size number 5, but uh, this one is size number 8, which is the most popular size for hand sewings and uh, for the sewing machines. And uh, Binium MBT 1, uh, this one is a 60 meter spool, so it's a small spool, but normally people buy, you know, like uh, this kind of big spool because price is it's very it's very cheap i mean it's a it's a cheap thread but it's a very highly advanced next gener generation polyester thread so this is size a uh, double zero which is the thickest uh it was kind of price goes up because the thread is very thick so yeah size number one is 600 meter you cannot really adjust the length of the the bobbin i mean the thread in the bobbin so you cannot really order 1000 meter of a thread in one spool, just uh, you have to buy it like this. Okay, so size of number one as the uh, as number goes smaller, the thicker is the thread. Okay, so uh, size number one is a 600 meter, size number five is a 1000 meter. So, and there's also a color sample book which I'm going to show you today. And uh, you have to you have to buy this sample book also. So, and size number zero is uh, like this. Okay, so. Uh, I will add it in the part uh, if uh, they are finished with the, their website and uh, for the foreign customers, I will, I will add it a part here. And you cure in US, uh, there's a, a new, fairly new website store company called uh, District Leather Supply, which is, uh, uh, you know, District Leather in on Instagram is pretty popular, it's an um, ongoing uh, uh, leather crafter. Uh, he opened a website, you know, for the leather crafters. He sells tools and supplies and leathers, especially the small leathers. Uh, he sells small scraps like uh, one eight one eight makers cuts, uh, which will, you know, sell uh, Horwin leathers or Dublins or Cedric bridles in a small cut pieces. I think it's a uh, it's called a one eight because it's a uh, eight inch by eighteen inches. So, so if you click Horwin. So they sell this small scrap leather, which is uh, it's expensive if you buy a whole hide, but if you want just a one project, small project, but you want the really nice leather, this is where you want to go to. And also, if you click supplies, there's a section called thread. Yeah, here it is. They sell the the small spools like 25 meters and 100 meters and 25 meters. So they all sells in a small small spools in size one, eight, and five. So if you are in US and if you want to get delivered quickly and a little bit cheaper, ship for if you want to you know from Japan to US is kind of far. So <laughs> you gotta you have to you know if you buy here you can save some some of the shipping here. So. Uh, Okay, that's about it. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the details. Uh, uh, last in the few few of the videos back, I showed you what are the what is the best thread for hand sewing, and that's a tiger thread. Uh, and uh, today, this is the best thread for machine sewing. So, uh, I know you guys, most of guys, uh, hobbyists, 
doesn't really have sewing machine they do most of the work with the hand uh, with the hand sewing uh, because of the saddle stitching and all that uh, I know but uh, this is also actually designed for machine sewing uh, here it says on the back um, uh, in Japanese if you want you can you can translate but uh, this is the in bond uh, polyester thread which means uh, it's not bonded because the of the outside coating uh, should I will show you thread so this is uh, like I said in, in explained previous video it's a this is G twist so it's a the twist itself is good for uh, machine sewing but uh, the thread filaments of the threads are bonded actually okay it's not for the coating of the outside but uh, coating I mean bonding bonded inside of the each filament okay so as this uh, the thread goes into the machines and so um, sometimes uh, sewing machine clocks because of the um, outside resin bonded uh, thread uh, coating gets rubbed off and that uh, residue clogs the hole uh, of the of the needle so it gets clogged or it, sometimes it's it gets broken uh, while you the sewing so you know it's a new generation of a of thread that you can you know you can do sewing without any problem so it's a it's a pioneer of a in bond uh, polyester thread uh, and so it's really nice for uh, machine work uh, I know you, some you, many makers use a lot of machines because you know in order to produce more you gotta have to use sewing machine because you know time is money in the craft world so if you are just stick with only with the hand sewing it's 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 very nice it's a it's a nice work uh, but uh, you can't really produce much uh, if you only do the hand sewing so if you want to make money you know you gotta <laughs> work with the sewing machine that's okay so that's a whole different art story so here is the sample book I'm going to show you today uh, I want to emphasize that this is not a catalog for Binimo MBT okay this is catalog for Binimo okay so what's the difference between Binimo and Binimo MBT uh, to make it short uh, Binimo is just a polyester thread okay that's it and Binimo MBT is bonded polyester thread so there's a two thread so you gotta be careful when you order to Japan that you want the Binimo thread. Oh, I want the Binimo thread. Uh, then, then you will get the Binimo thread, just the average uh, polyester thread. Uh, but not the average, but they have a wide selection of colors, high quality thread. But uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about only the Binimo MBT. Okay, MBT. So you know when you order uh, to Japan, you know make sure you say Binimo MBT. You can write in English. It's a Binimo, you can spell like this. It's a, so you have to spell in Binimo MBT, okay? Um, so this is the sample book of Binimo, okay? And there's a lot of uh, colors available in Binimo MBT also, but not all, okay? So I'm going to just sh run you quickly. Uh, this is white, and this is um, a black, and the all the color indicate these numbers indicates the the um, color of the thread. So you no, know, some of the colors are very similar to each other. So if it's very thin and if it's far away from the from your eye, you can't really tell the difference because the the colors are so close to each other. Okay, I'm sure the lights and the um, monitor will uh, distort the color. Of the thread, so I recommend you when you order uh, and Binimo MBT, uh, order with a sample book, okay, and you compare with yourself uh, what color you want, and uh, you will get the uh, best best results with it, okay. And here's the uh, the thickness sample, so you can also compare the thickness of it. Uh, you know, it's important to you know, talk about the thickness of the thread uh, because. You know, you normally go for is it 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Uh, to make it short, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, comparing the thickness with uh, like calipers, it's not really accurate. So you know, normally you know, thread companies provide this information here, right here. So uh, this is the actually thickness uh, and the um, how the, uh, the, com the filaments are, are uh, composed of. So it's you should be think about like 
like this you know configuration if you want to be really involved in the in the thread thread um, should I say thread world so it's like that and uh, they, they provide this additional paper which is the color available in MBT okay so here um, you may want to capture this so it says being in MBT and size number one and five and eight is the most popular size and if you are doing the like uh, I'll just give you um, idea of how, how, how thickness we want to go for uh, just because you know you, you have no idea uh, if you are doing like 2.7 millimeter to uh, 3 millimeter, uh, you want to go to 8 millimeter thread because that's very good size for thin thread. Uh, there are also available size 20, but not for MBT. And so you you have idea how thin the uh, number eight is, and uh, number five size number five is decent size for 3.3, 3.4, or um, seven uh, 3.7 or even 4.0 uh, millimeter spacing okay and number one is kind of thick um, uh, you know it's, it's, it's thickness produce different look of it so you know I can't really show, tell like you have to use this thread for this size and everything but size number one it looks good on like five millimeter or four millimeter but uh, if you use on this one thickness to lower than 3.4 millimeter, it doesn't look nice. Okay, so number one is pretty pretty thick, heavy duty stitching. Okay, so these three all popular sizes, and it, it says this one is uh, the black dot indicates a uh, new color, and uh, this the white dot indicates the existing color. So just the circle means it the color is available. Uh, don't think about the the white dot or like that just uh, it's just a marking okay so uh, you might want to capture this so uh, as of 2017 uh, this is September uh, this is the available color in their range okay so they are adding up new colors uh, for the MBT so if you want you can you can wait and ask them about it later Okay, so compare with this and this and you will have the size available or not. Sometimes they are sold out and you have to wait certain times for the colors to come back in. So uh, they are not uh, available always. Okay, you have to wait certain pairs to that they have they have a stock in. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how difference is that each thickness. Okay, it's a size number. Eight. Okay, so what I have here is same color. Oh, let me check again. Yep, same color of thread, which is size number one, size number five, and size number eight. Okay, and uh, when you buy the thread, uh, this mesh comes in with it. Don't throw this away. This is good. Uh, usually, when you keep a thread, uh, I'm not not sure about everyone but I keep the thread like this with this uh, mesh on because I don't want this thread unwind every time I move something or on the shelf or any of the work or workspace so I keep this mesh together uh, with, the, with the bobbin so it doesn't get dirty or anything so this is nice and you can really buy this <laughs> somewhere uh, do you guys know any of the official name for this kind of stuff mesh not mesh just the uh, things that you use for this special purposes uh, so you cannot really buy this so you better keep this when you when you get this thread okay all right so from 8 8 is the most most popular size along the among the crafters and number 5 also okay. i use 1 and 5 a lot okay so how how much difference does it? Hmm. Just, uh, yeah, I why don't I just cut this? Okay, so in order, this is number one, five, 
and 8. Okay. That's this difference. Okay. So number 8 has uh, quite a bit have a difference with the number 1 but uh, in each range, I mean number 5, remember number the middle one is number 5, number 8 has very small difference so it's kind of middle Okay, so number 5 is also good size for every applications okay? but you gotta have to see it yourself okay? you can't really trust words and, you, know, you gotta test it on your own so Okay, so it's it's this difference, okay? And uh, if you take a take a close look at the thread, it's a Z twist. But it you know how clever they were was uh even if you use this for hand sewing, uh it's very nice. I'm going to show you in, in the next part because uh at the time that I explained you guys uh with um, with the uh, other thread, uh, what is it called uh, kind of um, just a syrup hill polyester thread uh, I explained this in the previous video but if you are new to the channel and new to this video uh, this is also G twist polyester thread but uh, this is non bonded thread so as you do the hand stitching uh, this will uh, twiggle up this will uh, roll up okay and the stitching might doesn't look nice as the thread twist gets really ugly so you know it's it's not bonded so as you if you cut this uh, thread this phrase gets twisted off so it gets phrase okay so it's hard to get into the needle also but how clever the bonding technique technology have done this to thread was that um, this thread is if each filament twisted in this thread is bonded so if you cut it it stays contact within the thread so it's easy to needle inside the eye of the of, of the needle so, uh, so so bonding itself made possible for this thread to use with the hand sewing okay so it doesn't really tangle up as much as this average polyester thread does or the other kind of Z twist does so this thread just uh, just it, it feels nicer and because it has a good good amount of tension and good amount of the finish effect to it. So you know because of the bonding, also it made the very smooth go into the leather uh, without waxing. Some guys would would do the waxings, but you don't really necessarily do uh, need to do the waxing because this is already finished uh, thread. You know it's it's meant to be you know used without wax anyway. So this bonding makes you know easy to needle and easy to hand stitch and easy to go through the holes very easily all right enough of the talk i'll just show you what it's like when you needle through uh, if you focus here okay just like this okay easy very easy work okay And I will stitch and uh, see see how it's like you know how the less tangly it is with uh, with the minimum MBT. Okay. So because of the thread color, you can't really see that well. So, but you will get the idea. Okay. So. Yeah. See how smooth it does go glide into the holes and uh, how less tangly it is. Uh, this is a very clever idea of treating the thread. Yeah. Uh, so.
Okay, stitching is done here, and uh, let's do some. It does tangle a little bit, I must say, but not so much. You know, this is the you know, result of the bonding, the polyester thread. So, it doesn't do tangle that much, just uh, one twist, and uh, this is really nothing compared to just the average thread like this, you know. Therapy is nice, it has a very, you know, the therapy has a color of, you know, very um, soft, soft color, so if you like the look of the stitching, the thread, you know, go go with it, you know, but uh, I, I prefer Beanie My BTs, you know, these were the, one of the best threads for, for the, for the sewing machines and the, the hand stitching, so you know, and the price is just uh, very nice. So, uh, it's a Binimo here, and uh, you know, nice, nice thread. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you give me a thumbs up, it helps me a lot to promote this channel, and uh, it helps me to continue this channel. And uh, if you are, you know, new to the channel, uh, this is Low Tool Crafts Review Channel, and uh, show you how to treat your tools, how to use your tools, and uh, tool reviews. So if you are interested in this, please subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.